uh, Mr. Sanjeev Puri. Just over the weekend, we spoke about, uh, you know, enough income in the hands of uh, rural as well as uh, middle-income groups uh, in urban areas. Do you think uh, enough has been done on that front as well as the agriculture sector reforms that were so desperately required? Uh, there is some resilience package that has been announced, but does it... Uh, go the distance that it uh, does need to, given the fact that 45 percent of our jobs are in the rural sector? So, first of all, let me start by saying I think it's an extremely good and comprehensive uh, budget. Uh, it, it, it really focuses on all the critical facets of investing for inclusive growth, dealing with the issues of climate emergency, and very much being within the fiscal glide path. In fact, better than what was the guidance earlier, 5.1 versus 4.9, which is a great a great positive for macro stability. I think it's a, that's why I, I say it's an extremely, extremely good budget. And coming on specifically this whole uh, aspect that you spoke about, I think a lot of these issues really get answered on a sustained basis through a virtuous cycle of, uh, you know, investment, employment, consumption. That's a kind of virtuous cycle. That's a cycle that uh, uh, has been in motion since uh, the policy in interventions, since the last, uh, some budgets and several years of reforms, the cumulative impact of that. That's why we're seeing the economy do well. So the first, first great positive is we are seeing continuation of that approach, which has worked well. Two, we are seeing some additional dimensions being brought in. I think the thrust on rural and agriculture is, is very clear and much sharper and uh, focused. We're looking at uh, you know rural rural invest, investment development of in the region of 2.7 lakh crores, which is about I think 30 to 40 percent more than what it was last year. Very comprehensive uh, uh, approach to dealing with resilience and productivity of agriculture, which is so critical to improving farmer incomes and improving resilience. These are all areas that we've we've had occasion to discuss. <clears throat> in the in the past and uh, also very comprehensive approach as i said to climate change but but just before stopping let me add that not only has it touched these immediate requirements and and provided some relief on uh, you know income tax but very clearly a lot of focus on the next generation of reforms the next process of reform to further accelerate economic transformation. A lot of focus on ease of doing business. The Income Tax Act being comprehensively reviewed within six months is a very, very strong statement. A lot of focus on reforms at the state, the, the manner to you know, make, the, make the process so that it's incentivizing and, and collaborative with them. I think the very strong statement on next generation factor reforms, land, labor, the intent to do that, of course, budget is not expected to announce, uh, you know, to deal with all these reforms, but the intent is very clearly uh, announced. So these are, I think, very strong statements that throw the really uh, articulate the direction to, to the next uh, phase of economic transformation. So therefore, I would say it's an, it's an extremely good, excellent, excellent budget, and it augurs well for our country's economic progress going forward.